there's just one team left to go here now in London. The team left to go. Yes, you're right. <laughs> it took almost three years, but Tatiana Volosojar and Maxime Trankov finally beat their rivals. They won the Europeans in January ahead of the four-time world champion, Savchenko Zolkovi. And the Russians have the best scores of any team this season. And uh, this time at Worlds, they are the team with the target on their back, not the Germans. For them, it's doing it when it matters most. It's a fabulous short program. Skating to the love theme from The Godfather, composed by Nino Rota. Not a team that has even been together very long yet. Still waiting to reach the summit of their talent. in difficult entrance no oh how how did she save that she didn't get a good takeoff leaning forward two foot landing we'll watch to see if it was fully rotated a well-matched team. Greatest strength, their lack of weaknesses. <laughs> well put. Well, the two-time world silver medalist off to a fantastic start here in London. And that's what the world has been waiting to see from them, Kirk, doing it when it counts. We've watched it in practice, just not seeing them shine on the world stage. Tracy, I don't think I've seen Tatjana Volosojar and Maxim Trankov look like they were having that much fun on the ice this year. They did. He seemed to get a little tight in the footwork there. Here's the twist. That's so perfect. Um, so that's, that could be actually a perfect element. Watching the scores go in, that could be absolutely perfect. So a home run on that, but then watch this. It's hard to watch both skaters at the same time, so I kind of missed it. She never got off the toe, and she bounced around on the landing. I'm surprised that the judges were as lenient on that Sao Cao as they were, but they had every reason to give that 
oh, the book. Huge. That was and, awesome. And we have the ability to watch the judging monitor so we can see which elements are under review and, and sort of how the scores are coming in. Uh, but uh, that was an exceptional program. Uh, a little squeaky there on the Salco, but w when you look at the elements of the twist, the height and trajectory on the throw, and then uh, the overall component score, that was uh, sensational. So Canadians, Megan Hamill, Eric Radford with the lead right now. So the Russians will be looking for a score over 73.61. And they've got it there. Look at 75.84. That is the third highest score of all time in the short program. And guess what? The Canadians are not that far behind. They're backstage shaking their heads. <laughs> no, they're not. They were the ones telling us what they were going to do, and they did it.